I welcome all of you on the platform of Europedia Education and this is the largest online learning platform for so many domains and this one is related to interview GD GT guidance. Now Coaching Shipyard Limited has come out with interview schedules in the month of October. They are starting from 4th October and end up on 30th of October. So Europedia as you know is the largest learning platform and last year also uh, hundreds of students uh, prepared with the mentors of Europedia for couple of seats in Coaching Shipyard Limited. This year also uh, students uh, have started preparing now and for the preparation of any interview you require the document of that organization. Now as you know uh, for any kind of interviews you get the document prepared by the mentors of Europedia and this is the document for Coaching Shipyard Limited. Many interview questions pop up directly on the basis of the information of the organization. Also, there are certain questions which are very specific to particular organization. Like coaching shipyard, because it is a shipyard, it is related to you know uh, manufacturing and uh, you know repair work of uh, ship. So many questions come related to ship. What is steel? What is the you know material uh, used in shipping? and how you measure the weight of the ship, how do you measure the weight of the uh, cargo in the ship, how do you measure the speed of the ship, those kind of questions are normally asked. Balancing and stability of the ship and what is metacentric height and all those questions are asked. Now please take this document uh, and this coaching shipyard is a mini ratana company under which ministry it comes. So take this document and start reading it. I will just discuss briefly about this and you can take uh, you know the printout of this document from the website. So you know this is in Kerala where the Cochin Shipyard Limited is located, you should know that. And Cochin Shipyard Limited is the largest green field ship building and ship repair yard in the country. Now what is green field? This is a brown field, green field etc. Green field means everything uh, started from scratch, everything built from scratch. Nothing was there, no, nothing uh, initially nothing was existing there and then there was a uh, clean slate and you have written on that. So green field means started from the scratch, the project started from the scratch. So where is this located and uh, the site where Vasco da Gama landed up in 1498, you know he landed up in 1498, uh, the Cochin. Uh, he came from Portuguese, Portugal, if I am not wrong, he was from Portuguese and uh, he came from Cape of Good Hope, uh, uh, South Africa, uh, if you have seen on the map. So this is the place where it is located. So that is where uh, this is. Then uh, you know you should know what is uh, Cochin Shipyard and when was it incorporated 1972. And uh, it is a main ship building and ship repairing uh, industry in India. So what is DWT is the dead weight tonnage actually. That is how you measure the size of the ship. So uh, this yard can build ship up to 1,10,000 DWT and repair ships up to 1.25 lakh DWT dead weight tonnage you should have some idea about that. Also air uh, you know air uh, uh, defense ships are being indigenously made here that is also the another thing. So what are the typical uh, you know customers Cochin Shipyard Limited has who are the customers of Cochin Shipyard. So all oil exploration industries, Navy, Coast Guard, Fisheries, Port Trust they are actually the customers of Cochin Shipyard Limited. So vision, mission and objective of any industry are important to answer why you want to become the part of Cochin Shipyard Limited because the moment you go for interview he is going to ask you why do you want to join Cochin Shipyard Limited. So read this carefully and from there you can pick up some answer. So your PDM mentors are not going to give you ready made answer because if we do that everybody is going to say something like that. So we are not going to provide you that answer. You need to frame that answer yet and yes in one to one session mentors of your PDA will certainly help you that okay this answer is correct and you have to frame this answer something like that. So to emerge internationally preferred shipyard and you know I want to become this can be the answer should be like that. So sir uh, I want to become the part of the uh, internationally preferred uh, shipyard which we want to become and also we are trying to indigenize many things which uh, so far we used to import and I am very sure this if I get the uh, opportunity to be part of this shipyard or this industry 
then in future I am going to learn a lot and I am going to grow a lot because this industry has a vision to uh, basically expand and work in uh, latest technological domains. So technology upgradation and capacity augmentation, emerging technologies may we are working and you know we are working into building, repairing and offshore structures. ONGC has many offshore structures. So this is the uh, you know uh, typical vision, mission and objective of this. So as I was telling you what is dead weight tonnage, you should have some idea about this. How do you measure it and dead weight tonnage is a sum of weight of the cargo that is the luggage inside the ship, weight of the ship, fuel, water, everything I mean passenger and everything that is how it is calculated. So there are some questions like you know how do you measure the weight of a ship, how do you weigh a ship. So there is a Archimedes principle as you know and we use the Archimedes principle and the marking is there and we know that to what depth it is going down and corresponding to the marking you now there is a profession called naval architect. Naval architect design the ship and they know that if uh, mark 2, mark 3 is there if ship goes down to the level 2 or 3 what will be the water displaced and the weight of the water displaced as per Archimedes principle gives you the weight of the body floating. So if the uh, ship is floating on the sea uh, on the water then uh, how much is the weight of the water displaced? The weight of the water displaced eventually will give the weight of the ship that is how it is. So the shape of the ship is also accordingly decided. So that is what the principle behind this is. How do you measure the uh, speed of the ship and speed of the submarine? So you know uh, not, uh, not, not is the uh, sometime unit to measure the uh, speed of the uh, ship and there is a pitometer log pit log it is called pit log is the device which is similar to pit tube pit tube pit rod is used to measure the uh, speed of the ship pit tube uh, every mechanical engineer knows uh, what is the concept behind pit tube so this is a typical pit tube or pit uh, uh, log which is seen pit log and this is used to measure the speed of the ship as well as the speed of the submarine. So as I told you, you just go through it and pitted tube we will be discussing later on. Pitted tube is also used to measure the speed of the aeroplane. So this pit log is the device, even if you don't know how to use it like electrical engineers and all, at least name should be known. Now what is the history of Cochin Shipyard Limited? So this is the first green field shipyard in the country and it came in incorporated in 1972. So all these details you can you know uh, start reading you just read these details they are from some questions can be asked from this take this particular uh, uh, material take this particular document and start reading it. One of the question which normally is asked is like what are the various business domains of Cochin Shipyard Limited or our company. So uh, this is the only shipyard which built up to 1.10 lakh deadweight tonnage built various type of vessels like tanker, bulk carriers, port, passenger vessels and all. Uh, it has very reputed international clients and it is making aircraft carriers also now. So what are other products? So he will ask you sometime what are our various products. You should know the names of the products. So what is Hindustan Aeronautical Limited making? What is uh, you know Cochin Shipyard Limited making? These names should be known to you. Ship repairing is also done in the uh, shipyard you know this uh, ship repairing also goes on. So other than that you know sophisticated repair to oil rigs or coast guard merchant navy ships that is also done. There are projects of ONGC uh, offshore uh, drilling units and all. So Cochin Shipyard Limited gives some kind of consultancy to these also. So uh, offshore uh, drilling unit Sagar Vijay of ONGC this upgradation of this and uh, drilling capacity also is increased. Aircraft carrier INS Virat is very very famous so maintenance and repair of this is also done there. Offshore upgradation uh, activities of the oil rigs is done. Uh, then other activities which you should know and what kind of ISO certification is given to Cochin Shipyard Limited for design, development, construction for various things it is given that also you should be aware. So just go through that and who is the CMD? Uh, I just confirmed the CMD uh, is still Madhu S. Nair and uh, he became on 2016. He is naval architect and from Cochin University uh, only and uh, then he has done uh, you know masters of engineering in Osaka University Japan. So a very vast experience he has and uh, Union Cabinet Ministry for Ministry of Port Shipping Waterways please confirm it once again 
I could not see it in the morning whether it is the same chap now. So, uh, Sonowal is the same fellow or not, which is the ministry and who is the minister in charge. Shipping Corporation of India Limited, a central PSU and it was incorporated here. Headquarter is uh, in Mumbai. Shipping Corporation of India Limited is very important. It is also Navratana company. Cochin Shipyard Limited, the details of Cochin Shipyard Limited. Now, we are talking about some of the uh, important, uh, you know, uh, companies which are related to shipping. So, there are some names which we should know other than Cochin Shipyard. Shipping Corporation of India Limited you should know, Cochin Shipyard Limited you should know, Hooghly Cochin Shipyard Limited also you should know. It is a joint venture between uh, Cochin Shipyard and Hooghly Dock and Port Engineers. And then Sagarmala is very very famous. Sagarmala program, what is this? So, Sagarmala is nothing but garland of the sea. Initiative Government of India to enhance the performance uh, of the country in logistics sector, uh, you know, to unlock the potential through waterways and make use of the coastline uh, of the country that is this project is all about. So, just know what is Sagarmala project. So, it was approved by this new government, Modi government uh, in 2015. National perspective plan was put in order for this and uh, you know Sagarmala endeavors to provide enhanced connectivity between ports and other centers. So, uh, just read about Sagarmala project and uh, five components of the Sagarmala project also you should know. So, how many shipyards are there in India and how many are state owned? That means the government shipyard are nine. Uh, India's first indigenous air defense ship for Navy is being built by Cochin Shipyard. So, what is the uniqueness of Cochin Shipyard? As I told you, this is the largest greenfield uh, uh, shipyard in India and also it is making the first you know indigenous air defense ship for India and it can make uh, merchant ships also of this size that is what you should know. Now because it is Navratana company so sometime he will ask you the names of you know uh, some Maharatana companies. So these are the names of some Maharatana companies in India which we have these are all Maharatana companies. So names you should know and then what is the classification of Maharatana company, Navratana company, Mini Ratana company that classification also he asks you sometimes. So, there are certain criteria how you become Maharatana company. So, maybe some idea if you have, you can understand that uh, uh, there how to become Mini Ratana or Navratana company. So, what is Cochin Shipyard Limited? That also you should know. Sometime he will ask you a question that you want to become part of Cochin Shipyard Limited. What if it gets privatized tomorrow? If it is privatized? So, understand one thing that uh, any profit making PSU government does not go for privatization of that. Only loss making uh, government is planning. But still some idea about uh, privatization of PSU. When was it thought of and what are the, uh, what is the status as of now? Uh, government is not finding the strategic uh, investor in this. Uh, so, what is the strategic disinvestment? What do we understand by that? And what is the benefit of disinvestment? Why government wants to sell its shares into public sectors to private companies? And do we get the private companies or not? So the situation is like any profit making company, public sector, government is not selling or disinvesting. And also if some particular public sector is a very big in size, you are not getting the buyers also for, for that because Indian company private sector should be capable enough to purchase or buy it. So, why we go for disinvestment? What is the purpose of disinvestment? What are the various challenges of disinvestment? I would like you to read this because I have discussed this in many of my videos for other public sectors. Ship building by public sector shipyards, there was a news related to this. So, two public sector shipyards, Cochin and uh, Hooghly, uh, under administrative control of shipping, Ministry of Shipping. Uh, and there are four public sector which are administrative control of Ministry of Defense. So, Musgan Dock and Mumbai and Garden Reach and uh, Kolkata Hindustan Shipyard Limited, Vishakhapatnam, Goa Shipyard, they are under the Ministry of Defense. But uh, these two, Cochin Shipyard and Hooghly Dock and Cochin Shipyard, they are under the administrative control, control of Ministry of Shipping. So, that small information you should be aware. So, please this is a 15 page document. Uh, if you are going for the interview of Cochin Shipyard Limited, please take this document and start your preparation as soon as possible with the mentors of your PDR. You will not only prepare for interview but also group discussion and writing assess, assessment test and hope you prepare really well, uh, good for that. The interviews are from 4th October to 30th October. All the very best. Thank you. Thank you.